shorty crazy. I'ma hit it in the middle. I'ma come in with the riddles. Addy got me in a pickle. I'ma fuck it if she little. In the booty, hella bigger. You would think her being taken would've stopped me, but it'll keep on raising up the temple. I come from the future to let all of you know that it's too late. So, well, it's not too late, yeah. There's people who think that Victory Greymon is the strongest. So I have reminded my past self to finally um, make the post that we were about to make, well, I. Alright, alright, so my future me... Thank you for giving me the second chance, lol. Like seriously, it's got to the point where not only they say it's the strongest Greymon ever, no. They say that it's the strongest Digimon, which is retarded for many reasons. And this has opened the door for many people saying Z Garurumon and Victory Greymon, you know, because they're a pair, right? So obviously they, they'd be like, um, both of them stomp any other Digimon. Anyways, let's get to why people went these two so freaking much. In the story Digimon Next, it's actually in a story, you gotta read it. Anyway, in Digimon Next, Zidgarumon defeat, um, Zidgarumon and Victory Greymon defeat Barbamon. Um, not just an avatar, but actual body of Barbamon. This body was fused with Yggdrasil, and Barbamon was still defeated, right? So does this make Victory Greymon the strongest Digimon? Well, yeah and no. Well, not the strongest, but you know, stronger than that Barbamon. The Victory Greymon that defeated Barbamon was an illegal, okay? So that means that Victory Greymon is not the strongest Greymon. That specific Victory Greymon was a special Victory Greymon that had the Digi um, memory, whatever the fuck. Listen, I believe that Victory Greymon, any Victory Greymon is strong, but I don't see it taking on any Royal Knights. That's just common sense, to be honest. To put it frankly, the illegal, yeah, it can defeat Barbamon and all that shit, but that's, that's, are we really gonna count that? Um, so. Are we gonna say that Greymon is is a champion able to um, defeat ultimates just because an illegal Greymon happens to do it? No, we wouldn't because that's retarded. Alright, so there's one YouTuber in particular who doesn't necessarily say shit like, um, he's the strongest Digimon ever, but he kinda does. Um, he says that him and Zed, um, they defeat Neo even though that actually never happened. And it's in the, like, same panels that he shows us in that um that he says oh they were able to defeat neo someone who was like high multiversal to complex multiversal even though that's complete bullshit neo decided not to finish them in the end if you actually read it we have bagger mom who was a member of the seven great demon lords and the seven great demon lords are a multiversal constant but their existence being tied to the digital to the digital world itself and their true forms of the demon world is said to be supposedly infinitely greater than all of their weaker forms combined and then you have Victor Greymon, an Abitrator, who was able to not only kill Bagramon, but also kill Yudrasil that was fused with Bagramon. So, going off of this, Victor Gate Greymon would be scaled to Multiversal Plus, to likely complex Multiversal scaling off of that. That would say it's be more likely for him to be Multiversal Plus, to High Multiversal Plus. Okay, so far so good, by the way. I, I'm, I sped it up a little to, you know, to not, like, um, to not, like, spend so much time on the unimportant parts. But so, they were somewhat important, if you get what I'm trying to say. Anyways, um... So far, so good. He did defeat ba Barbamon. That actually was true. Yes, but even because he already complex multiversal, if he were to factor in the layers of the digital world, he was also able to, along with um, Zigrumon, able to damage and stagger Neo. And Neo was said to be on a greater level than Yudrasil, and stronger than him. Plus, this same Neo was able to absorb Bagramon, who previously absorbed Yudrasil. And at this point, Neo was able to merge the entirety of the digital world. And with the help of his tamer and the rest of the crew were able to pretty much get a friendship power boost and was able to defeat Neo by ramming him through and restore the digital world to what it formerly was. So, if we were to go off this, Victory Greymon should also be Multiversal Plus to 
high, multiversal, likely complex. Okay, so, um, yeah, Omegamon, Victory Omegamon, um, is the strongest. That's basically what I understood from that clip. Okay, so allow me to show you what actually happened um with Neo, right? Because all that shit about, oh, they defeated Neo never happened. It never happened, like, ever. I'll, I'll give them one thing. They actually did damage Neo, but not enough to... They just, like, grazed him or some shit. They didn't really do anything that's like, wow. There were a lot of things that happened, um, so... Andromon was a part of the Digi memories, right? So he regained consciousness and Neo wasn't able to use his his left arm. Look, even if they did defeat Neo, they had outside help. So to say that um Victory Greymon along with um, Magna Gururumon were strong enough to beat Neo is complete bullshit. They had help. All right, listen to me. When I say they had help, I mean that they had help. Like they had hella help. Every the whole digital world was assisting them. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, I like to mention that most of Digi memories they detached themselves from him, so that means like he was severely weakened, right? All right. So what defeated Neo wasn't the fact that they were powerful enough. No, that never happened. What defeated Neo was friendship, basically. Um, Neo decided to let them live. He um he found out that what he was doing was wrong, so he stopped doing it All altogether. Right since since like i feel like no one will believe me if i just say it so i'll just be a kind lad um and read it right the digital world is coming back to life neo now understands the digi memories released their strongest power when there are bonds the eight digi memories have returned so neo understands he decided to stop fighting yeah if you want me to be honest um victory greymon is not even the strongest greymon um, it's not World Greymon, Shine Greymon, Blit, none of, um, it's one of the, um, it, fuck, fuck, what, what are they called again? I'll just call them, like, spirits or whatever the fuck. Alright, the strongest Greymon is Kaiser Greymon, and, um, I don't know the English version of the name, so screw you, I'm just kidding. If anybody wants, I'll explain that in another video, but there's also this thing where people claim that Barbamon Joe Grest with every single Digimon, um, comparing him to Shoutmon times 7, superior modo. Okay, so Barbamon only combined with Yggdrasil, and even if he did combine with every single Digimon, there's no way it could have been a Jogress. And, it, and even if it was a Jogress, Shoutmon times 7, superior modo, um, he Jogressed with every single Digimon. Barbamon fused with a couple of old, like, a perfect level, child, adult, um, Shoutmon fused with royal knights. He didn't Jogress, but he Digicross, you know with royal knights which even look if you look into the manga actually vidramon is one of the strongest royal knights anyways anyways back to the original topic um victory greymon is not the strongest that should be obvious by now if anyone thinks so just show them this video and peace out subscribe if you want share this with a friend if you enjoyed it if you hate it, it share it with an enemy arrivederci <laughs>